The Lost People of the Green Sahara Thousands of years ago, the Sahara wasn't a desert. It was green, alive, with grasslands, rivers, and wild animals. Between 9,000 and 5,000 years ago, this green Sahara was home to hunter-gatherers and, later, early herders. In a remote corner of southwestern Libya, archaeologists discovered burials under a rock shelter at Wadi Takarori. Fifteen individuals, mostly women and children, dating back as far as 8,900 years. Two of them, buried between 7,200 and 6,300 years ago, became the focus of a new genetic study that rewrites what we thought we knew about ancient Africa. Scientists from Germany, Italy, Libya, and the Netherlands analyzed their nuclear DNA and made a surprising discovery. These people belong to a population completely unknown to science. They didn't match any previously studied African groups. In fact, they split from other Africans at about the same time that modern humans were leaving Africa to populate the rest of the world, around 50,000 years ago. Even more astonishing, their genomes contain a tiny trace of Neanderthal DNA, about 0.15%. That's far less than in Europeans or Asians, but more than in most sub-Saharan groups, suggesting some ancient contact with populations from the Near East. According to the researchers, about 93% of their ancestry comes from this lost African lineage. The remaining portion likely comes from an ancient Levantine population, perhaps the same people who brought herding and agriculture into North Africa over 8,000 years ago. But here's the twist. In this region, animal herding didn't spread through mass migration. It came through cultural exchange. Unlike Europe, where farming arrived with waves of new settlers, the Green Sahara's people learned new ways of life from their neighbors and adapted. This discovery reveals a forgotten chapter in human history, a unique people thriving in a vanished African savanna, linked by memory and DNA to our shared ancient past.